We're going to give a chance for the rabbi to speak in front of this walk with Israel celebration of war crimes, of occupation, of murdering innocent people in the name of Judaism, unfortunately. We're here with Rabbi Israel Doved Wise that came all the way from New York to stand in Toronto today against these Zionist war criminal supporters and some of them are actually war criminals. And we're honored to have Rabbi Wise and Rabbi Feldman and all these rabbis that came, some of them from Montreal, all the way. They drove down, some of them flew down. And to stand up against the Zionist regime and to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Everybody, free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Go ahead, Rabbi. With the help of the Almighty, I pray to the Almighty to bestow upon me His truth and wisdom that I may convey His truth and that we may sanctify His name and bring peace and shalom to the world. People who call themselves Jews who descend from Jewish parents are standing across the road here in Toronto to celebrate an idol, to celebrate blasphemy, to celebrate heresy. The state of Israel, which all our rabbis around the world in one voice spoke out and said that this state is haram, that this state of Israel is a rebellion against God, this state of Israel commits crimes daily, this state of Israel is the Zionist state of Israel that's masquerading in my religion, Judaism. This state of Israel is using the holy name of Judaism and committing murder, committing every type of sin feasible. And yet there are Jews. Make a line spread out. And yet there are Jews who are celebrating because they were conned by the Satan. They were conned by Theodore Herzl by these blasphemers, by these heretics because the people use the star of David, the holy star of David and they rub it in the blood of Jews together with the Palestinians every day you hear of another people, another person murdered in Gaza another person murdered in Palestine Every single day you 
hear of another crime committed by these criminals, by the leaders of this Shatan, of the state of Israel. They are cunning. They are fooling the Jewish nation. What a crime. What a sorrow to see people who come from Jewish parents celebrating evil, celebrating the epitome of evil, the root of evil, this rebellion against God, the establishment of a so-called Jewish state when the Almighty put us in exile and they spit, God forbid, in the face of the Almighty. How dare they make a state and call it a Jewish state? Woe is unto us. How dare they? Look how they dress, totally without modesty. They breach the laws of the Sabbath. They breach the laws, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. They ridicule everything that is holy. They murder the rabbis who speak up against them. Their track record is of blood. How much more blood has to be spilled on Palestinians and Jews, Rahman al How much more blood has to be spilled? How many hearts broken? How many people psychologically maimed for life because of the existence of this rebellion against God? The Zionist state that flaunts the name Israel Jacob. How dare they? How dare the state of Israel use our name to steal a land from the Palestinians? How dare you celebrate a Nakba, a tragedy, a colossal catastrophe when all the rabbis unequivocally say that, that this is not a Jewish state? They are causing an endless river of blood endless rivers of hate, a rift driven between Muslims and Jews. Jews have been living for hundreds of years in Muslim lands, enjoying their hospitality. And with one fell swoop, these Zionists, these criminals, these heretics, because they don't have godly morals, are ready to sacrifice the, the lives of these tens and hundreds of thousands of Jews on the altar of their dream, of their nightmare called the Zionist State of Israel. How dare we be silent? As our great teachers, Rabbi Yol Taitoglam, Zaytuchuzeichet Sadeh Kudracha, as the big catcher of who's your insight is today, Rav Chaim Alazar, Ben Sviyash, May his parents stand by us. Every day of their lives they stood up and screamed and pleaded. They pleaded that the Jewish children should not fall prey, should not fall prey to this evil, to the Zionism. Children of Judaism, wake up. Children of Judaism, you are being misled. You are being misled into the hell of a rebellion against God. Don't you see? You are celebrating blasphemy, heresy, evil. Don't you see? Where is godliness when you have girls and boys dancing together? Where is the Torah? that we gave our lives for on Mount Sinai? Where is the Torah that for generations we proudly died for? Wake up! Wake up, Jewish children! You are being misled! You are being led into a hell! This is not what your grandparents who died in Auschwitz wants from you! You are desecrating their name and their blood. When every Jew true to God declares the Zionist state of Israel is blasphemous, is heresy, is criminal, is unacceptable and a rebellion against God. On this holy day, Yom HaMeyiches, on this 
most holy day when the Almighty God told us He will give us the Torah. The Zionists are marching in their short sleeves, in their uncovered heads, eating treif, celebrating that they're in democracy. Woe is unto the Jewish people that we live to see this rebellion against God, this heresy, this existence of the Shatan in the Holy Land, in the city of Jerusalem and Al-Quds. This is unacceptable. And because we are Jewish, we are out here today to declare that every Jew true to the Torah is not only not celebrating, we mourn and we cry the existence of the Zionist state of Israel of this criminal entity that murders every day innocent people in Gaza in Al-Quds and throughout Palestine and in the refugee camps how many people die because they don't have proper food or drink how much more does the world have to stand by and be silent while this catastrophe, this Nakba, marches on in a war against the Almighty. We are, as Jews, because we are Jews, will never be silent in Chala with God's help. We will always stand strong, unbent, unintimidated, and we will declare that those who are marching for the state of Israel are sinners. They are marching for the Satan. They are marching against God. They are marching against the Jewish religion. They are marching what people call against humanity and we say against godliness. We will not be silent. We together with the Palestinian people will always stand together and declare that this is not a religious conflict. This has nothing to do with the difference of a religion. Jews enjoyed the warmth, the embrace of the Muslim countries. It was the Muslim countries that embraced Jews and took us in when the Jews were being murdered in Europe. It was in Palestine of the Muslim leadership that Jews flourished. It was in Iraq, it was in Iran, in Tunisia, in Yemen, in Egypt, in Morocco, in every single Muslim land that Jews flourished. Where was the hate? Where was this so-called fight between religions? This is a narrative invented by the Zionists, by this repugnant state of Israel that swallows in blood, that wallows in the blood of the Palestinians and Jews. We will not be silent. We will continually, because we are Jews, as our brothers and sisters in our quotes Jerusalem, stand up daily and express from the deepest of our hearts, our sorrow, our suffering with the Palestinian people. We urge everybody not to be intimidated. You are not anti-Semitic if you speak up against the Zionist state. On the contrary, by being silent, you are causing death every day of Palestinians and of religious Jews who fight against them every day and of others who fall on the side because of Zionism. You are anti-Semitic if you are silent when the world sees the celebration and knows what hate is born from this celebration. What divide between Jews and Muslims? What divide? A ripple effect happens around the world because of this injustice in Palestine. You are exacerbating anti-Semitism. You are exacerbating bloodshed. Innocent blood of Palestinians and other human beings. We proudly tell you that our 
brothers and sisters of Palestine, re because they are religious, refuse to serve with the IDF in that phony name, Israeli Defense Force. In Canada, it's not called Defense Force, the Army. This is just one of the myriad falsehoods of Zionism going in a Defense Force. We urge everybody to stand up and do not be intimidated. You are not a self-hating Jew if you stand up against Zionism, but you are a self-hating Jew if you are silent. Anti-Zionism is Judaism. Judaism and Zionism are diametric opposites because we are Jews. We are out here embracing our Palestinian brothers. We will stand together and pray to God every day that he should with his compassion bring an end, the entire end. God should help speedily and peacefully of the ex to bring an end to the existence of the Zionist state of Israel. So we as Jews can show our gratitude to the people of Palestine and say, here is back your respect. Here is back to you your land. Here is back to you who gave us a home for so many hundreds of years. We are returning the land. We are embracing you. And we are apologizing for the acts committed by the Jews who fell prey to the Zionists. It is unfortunately the Satan that is cunning these people, these gullible people from the universities who stand together with Zionists. Let them know that they're fighting with God. It is not acceptable to occupy Palestine. It is not acceptable to create the so-called Jewish state. It is a rebellion against God. Let us all pray together because it is the Almighty who is the power on the world. And he with his justice and compassion will one day bring an end to this injustice to the existence of the Zionist state of Israel. Let us all pray that he should bring this about speedily and peacefully. Let us stand up for compassion, for righteousness, for freedom, for the people of Palestine, of Gaza. And one day, hopefully today, soon in our days, a free Palestine, a free Palestine, free, free Palestine. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom Aleichem, Inshallah, soon in our days. Judaism, yes. Zionism, no. The state of Israel must go. Judaism, yes. Zionism, no. The state of Israel must go. We oppose Zionism because we are Jews. We Great! <laughs>